With pastoralists week coming to an end this weekend, much cry and counter accusations dominated throughout the occasion. The event organized by local leaders from Narok, Baringo, Pokot and Samburu under the guidance of Center for Minority Development Semiride attracted people from across the ethnic divide, pastoralists in particular. Singing in Hail of Unity was the tune of closing curtains on the ceremonial event, with different men and women seen dressed in their traditional attires that symbolizes their cultural diversity. The forum was organized with an aim of educating locals, especially the pastoralists, on issues to do with county governance, legislative framework, understanding the environment in terms of policy framework. This year, the major theme was really the participation of pastoralists within the devolved governance that Kenya is right now enjoying. Uh, one of the challenges that we've had is uh, to really begin to understand the devolution and to begin to ensure that people get involved and call to account the, the county governments. In this regard, therefore, we are beginning to ask ourselves whether we have a better institutional framework, whether we have a better legislative framework, whether we have a better policy framework to ensure that not just pastoralists who occupy these regions, but critical segments of the same pastoralist population. Stakeholders who attended the event urged the government to give focus towards public sensitization on issues of governance and female genital mutilation. <laughs> Issues of land resource distribution and security lapses in the country did not get out of hand. Local leaders blamed the national government of neglecting their views and ideas during the process of decision making. The pastoralist group, they are never being consulted in issues that are being passed or are being made to govern this uh, country. Security in this community has been an elusive right with a continued culture of cattle rustling transforming into a politically flamed challenge that has tagged the pastoralist community as a threat to the national security. So a recent incident of attack on 19 police officers in Capedo. Kama Turukana County, tunataka kuelesea wa ndugu setu ambaye ni wapokoti. Capedo, sisi tunapakana na Baringo County. Sisi ya tujui ni, ni wapi tunapakana na wapokoti. Capedo is one of the ward in Turukana County. Na hiyo tunasema kwa msimamo na kama kuna mtu anataka kujua ya kwamba West Pokot ni Turkana County aendelee kufanya kinyata kufanya. Moreover, extractive industries have denied the pastoral communities their natural resource. The good news of Tulo oil in Trukana has left nothing to the community around. Most of them now languish in poverty since there has been no compensation to the displaced. According to Rafael Operator MCA for Trukana, the process has been delayed for too long with little hope now prevailing. Ukikuja hapo lokicher, hapo mafuta imebeba. Na seismic operation inendelea, mambo ya drilling inendelea, access of land atujifile inafanywa. Terms of engagement, ambaye ambaye inafaidi community ambaye imekua affected. Sisi kama wafugaji, sisi kama watrukana, atujui, atujawai wana iyo document. Tungependa. Tuakikisha ya kwamba wakifanya mining extraction lazima watu wahusishwe. Wajue ya kwamba wamepata compensation. However, there were cries from some quarters who felt dissatisfied on how the whole event was organized, citing lack of more donor inclusion and stakeholders. I've been a bit disappointed in this program, Kenya Pastoral Week, this time. It is very, very poorly disorganized. There was no organization. People have been given a mandate to organize this uh, pastoral week for 2014. They really disorganized. I think the main, uh, some of the main challenges that we've had during the Kenya 2014 um, Kenya Pastors Week is mainly resources. You can imagine people coming from Tana River and uh, not having adequate um, 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 resources. We're talking about funds. Uh, we're also talking about, you know, there the, are the questions of levels of moderating, levels of literacy and all that uh, amongst the different groups and focusing the attention to a given thematic, um, 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 I mean, interest area. 
this has been a major challenge. The other challenge has been, you know, lack of major support from the political leadership, especially um, 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 within the members of parliament who missed to come. And because this is primarily an accountability framework where you have an engagement between that old man who wants to ask about this development project or policy issue and there's nobody to respond to it directly with that. Apart from the constitutional commissions that appeared, very few of these leaders were there. The rivalry between the marginalized communities on issues of animal banditry, governance and land distribution is viewed as the major cause of political division in this region. Maasai elders are therefore calling upon the Jubilee government to adopt amicable solutions of uniting and bridging the gaps immediately. Brian Uchieng, GBS News.